Diatomaceous earth, also known as DE, diatomite, or kieselga, kieselger, is a naturally occurring, soft, silicious sedimentary rock that is easily crumbled into a fine white to off white powder. It has a particle size ranging from less than 3 micrometers to more than 1 mm, but typically 10 to 200 micrometers. Depending on the granularity, this powder can have an abrasive feel, similar to pumice powder, and has a low density as a result of its high porosity. The typical chemical composition of oven-dried diatomaceous earth is 80–90% silica, with 2–4% alumina attributed mostly to clay minerals and 0.5–2% iron oxide. Diatomaceous earth consists of fossilized remains of diatoms, a type of hard-shelled protist chrysophytes. It is used as a filtration aid, mild abrasive in products including metal polishes and toothpaste, mechanical insecticide, absorbent for liquids, matting agent for coatings, reinforcing filler in plastics and rubber, anti-block in plastic films, porous support for chemical catalysts, cat litter, activator in blood clotting studies, a stabilizing component of dynamite, a thermal insulator, and a soil for potted plants and trees like bonsai. Topic: Geology and occurrence. Topic: <laughs> Composition. Each deposit of diatomaceous earth is different, with varying blends of pure diatomaceous earth combined with other natural clays and minerals. The diatoms in each deposit contain different amounts of silica, depending on the age of the deposit. The species of diatom may also differ among deposits. The species of diatom is dependent upon the age and paleoenvironment of the deposit. In turn, the shape of a diatom is determined by its species. Many deposits throughout British Columbia, Canada, such as Red Lake Earth, are from the Miocene Epoch and contain a species of diatom known as Melocera granulata. These diatoms are approximately 12 to 13 million years old and have a small globular shape. A deposit containing diatoms from this age can provide many more benefits than that of an older deposit. For example, diatoms from the Eocene age, approximately 40 to 50 million years old, are not as effective in their ability to absorb fluids because older diatoms recrystallize, their small pores becoming filled with silica. Topic: <laughs> Formation Diatomite forms by the accumulation of the amorphous silica opal, silicon oxide NH2O remains of dead diatoms microscopic single-celled algae in lacustrine or marine sediments. The fossil remains consist of a pair of symmetrical shells or frustules. <laughs> Discovery In 1836 or 1837, German peasant Peter Kasten discovered diatomaceous earth German, Kieselger, when sinking a well on the northern slopes of the Howlberg Hill, in the Lüneburg Heath in North Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Extraction and storage sites in the Lüneburg Heath Noyoe, extraction from 1863 to 1994 Wieschel from 1871 to 1978 Hutzel from 1876 to 1969 Hosseringen from C.1880 to 1894 Hammerstorf from C.1880 to 1920 Oberohe from 1884 to 1970 Schmebeck from 1896 to c. 1925 Steinbeck from 1897 to 1928 Brello from 1907 to 1975 
Schwinderbeck from 1913 to 1973. Hethendorf from 1970 to 1994 the deposits are up to 28 meters 92 feet thick and are all of freshwater diatomaceous earth until the first world war almost the entire worldwide production of diatomaceous earth was from this region topic other deposits In Germany, diatomaceous earth was also extracted at Altenschlief on the Vogelsberg Upper Hesse and at Klecken Saxony -Anhalt. There is a layer of diatomaceous earth up to 4 meters 13 feet thick in the nature reserve of Suez in the Czech Republic. Deposits on the Isle of Skye, off the west coast of Scotland, were mined until 1960. In Colorado and in Clark County, Nevada, United States, there are deposits that are up to several hundred meters thick in places. Marine deposits have been worked in the Sisquoc Formation in Santa Barbara County, California, near Lompoc, and along the Southern California coast. Additional marine deposits have been worked in Maryland, Virginia, Algeria and the Mokli of Denmark. Freshwater lake deposits occur in Nevada, Oregon, Washington and California. Lake deposits also occur in interglacial lakes in the eastern United States, in Canada and in Europe in Germany, France, Denmark and the Czech Republic. The Worldwide Association of Diatomite Deposits and Volcanic Deposits suggests that the availability of silica from volcanic ash may be necessary for thick diatomite deposits. Diatomaceous earth is sometimes found on desert surfaces. Research has shown that the erosion of diatomaceous earth in such areas, such as the Bedell Depression in the Sahara, is one of the most important sources of climate affecting dust in the atmosphere. The siliceous frustules of diatoms accumulate in fresh and brackish wetlands and lakes. Some peats and mucks contain a sufficient abundance of frustules that they can be mined. Most of Florida's diatomaceous earths have been found in the muck of wetlands or lakes. The American Diatomite Corporation, from 1935 to 1946, refined a maximum of 145 tons per year from their processing plant near Claremont, Florida. Muck from several locations in Lake County, Florida was dried and burned calcined to produce the diatomaceous earth. It was formally extracted from Lake Myvation in Iceland. The commercial deposits of diatomite are restricted to tertiary or quaternary periods. Older deposits from as early as the Cretaceous period are known, but are of low quality. Applications <inaudible> 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 Diatomaceous earth is available commercially in several formats Granulated diatomaceous earth is a raw material simply crushed for convenient packaging Milled or micronized diatomaceous earth is especially fine 10 micrometers to 50 micrometers and used for insecticides Calcined diatomaceous earth is heat treated and activated for filters Topic: Explosives. In 1866, Alfred Nobel discovered that nitroglycerin could be made much more stable if absorbed in diatomite. This allows much safer transport and handling than nitroglycerin in its raw form. He patented this mixture as dynamite in 1867. The mixture is also called Ger dynamite. Topic. Filtration The cell engineer Wilhelm Birkfeld recognized the ability of the diatomaceous earth to filter, and he developed tubular filters known as filter candles fired from diatomaceous earth. During the cholera epidemic in Hamburg in 1892, these Birkfeld filters were used successfully. 
One form of diatomaceous earth is used as a filter medium, especially for swimming pools. It has a high porosity because it is composed of microscopically small, hollow particles. Diatomaceous earth, sometimes referred to by trademarked brand names such as Salite, is used in chemistry as a filtration aid to filter very fine particles that would otherwise pass through or clog filter paper. It is also used to filter water, particularly in the drinking water treatment process and in fish tanks and other liquids such as beer and wine. It can also filter syrups, sugar, and honey without removing or altering their color, taste, or nutritional properties. <inaudible> Abrasive The oldest use of diatomite is as a very mild abrasive and, for this purpose, it has been used both in toothpaste and in metal polishes, as well as in some facial scrubs. Pest control Diatomite is of value as an insecticide, because of its abrasive and physico-sorptive properties. The fine powder adsorbs lipids from the waxy outer layer of the exoskeletons of many species of insects, this layer acts as a barrier that resists the loss of water vapor from the insect's body. Damaging the layer increases the evaporation of water from their bodies, so that they dehydrate, commonly fatally. Arthropods die as a result of the water pressure deficiency, based on Fick's law of diffusion. This also works against gastropods and is commonly employed in gardening to defeat slugs. However, since slugs inhabit humid environments, efficacy is very low. Diatomaceous earth is sometimes mixed with an attractant or other additives to increase its effectiveness. The shape of the diatoms contained in a deposit has not been proven to affect their functionality when it comes to the adsorption of lipids, however, certain applications, such as that for slugs and snails, do work best when a particular shaped diatom is used, suggesting that lipid adsorption is not the whole story. For example, in the case of slugs and snails large, spiny diatoms work best to lacerate the epithelium of the mollusk. Diatom shells will work to some degree on the vast majority of animals that undergo ectasis in shedding cuticle, such as arthropods or nematodes. It also may have other effects on lophotrochozoans, such as mollusks or annelids. Medical grade diatomite has been studied for its efficacy as a deworming agent in cattle. In both studies, cited the groups being treated with diatomaceous earth did not fare any better than control groups. It is commonly used in lieu of boric acid, and can be used to help control and possibly eliminate bed bug, house dust mite, cockroach, ant, and flea infestations. Diatomaceous earth is widely applied for insect control in grain storage. In order to be effective as an insecticide, diatomaceous earth must be uncalcinated, i.e., it must not be heat treated prior to application, and have a mean particle size below about 12 micrometers i.e., food grade, see below. Although considered to be relatively low risk, pesticides containing diatomaceous earth are not exempt from regulation in the United States under the Federal Insecticide, Fungicide, and Rodenticide Act and must be registered with the Environmental Protection Agency. Thermal. Its thermal properties enable it to be used as the barrier material in some fire-resistant safes. It is also used in evacuated powder insulation for use with cryogenics. Diatomaceous earth powder is inserted into the vacuum space to aid in the effectiveness of vacuum insulation. It was used in the classical AGA cookers as a thermal heat barrier. Catalyst support 
Diatomaceous earth also finds some use as a support for catalysts, generally serving to maximize a catalyst's surface area and activity. For example, nickel can be supported on the material, the combination is called nikieselgur, to improve its activity as a hydrogenation catalyst. Use in agriculture Natural freshwater diatomaceous earth is used in agriculture for grain storage as an anti-caking agent, as well as an insecticide. It is approved by the Food and Drug Administration as a feed additive to prevent caking. Some believe it may be used as a natural anthelmintic dewormer, although studies have not shown it to be effective. Some farmers add it to their livestock and poultry feed to prevent the caking of feed. Food grade diatomaceous earth is widely available in agricultural feed supply stores. Freshwater diatomite can be used as a growing medium in hydroponic gardens. It is also used as a growing medium in potted plants, particularly as bonsai soil. Bonsai enthusiasts use it as a soil additive, or pot a bonsai tree in 100% diatomaceous earth. In vegetable gardening it is sometimes used as a soil conditioner, because like perlite, vermiculite, and expanded clay, it retains water and nutrients, while draining fast and freely, allowing high oxygen circulation within the growing medium. Topic. Marker in livestock nutrition experiments Natural dried, not calcinated diatomaceous earth is regularly used in livestock nutrition research as a source of acid-insoluble ash which is used as an indigestible marker. By measuring the content of AIA relative to nutrients in test diets and feces or digester sampled from the terminal ileum last third of the, small intestine, the percentage of that nutrient digested can be calculated using the following equation where natural freshwater diatomaceous earth is preferred by many researchers over chromic oxide, which has been widely used for the same purpose, the latter being a known carcinogen and, therefore, a potential hazard to research personnel. Construction Spent diatomaceous earth from the brewing process can be added to ceramic mass for the production of red bricks with higher open porosity. Topic specific varieties Tripolite is the variety found in Tripoli, Libya. Ban clay is the variety found in the Lower Ban Valley in Northern Ireland. Mola Mo clay is the variety found in northwestern Denmark, especially on the islands of Fur and Morse. Freshwater-derived food-grade diatomaceous earth is the type used in United States agriculture for grain storage, as feed supplement, and as an insecticide. It is produced uncalcinated, has a very fine particle size, and is very low in crystal silica salt water derived pool, beer, wine filter grade is not suitable for human consumption or effective as an insecticide. Usually calcinated before being sold to remove impurities and undesirable volatile contents, it is composed of larger particles than the freshwater version and has a high crystalline silica content greater than 60%. <laughs> <laughs> Microbial degradation Certain species of bacteria in oceans and lakes can accelerate the rate of dissolution of silica in dead and living diatoms, by using hydrolytic enzymes to break down the organic algal material. <laughs> Climatologic importance The Earth's climate is affected by dust in the atmosphere, so locating major sources of atmospheric dust is important for climatology. 
Recent research indicates that surface deposits of diatomaceous earth play an important role. Research shows that significant dust comes from the Bedell Depression in Chad, where storms push diatomite gravel over dunes, generating dust by abrasion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Safety considerations. Inhalation of crystalline silica is harmful to the lungs, causing silicosis. Amorphous silica is considered to have low toxicity, but prolonged inhalation causes changes to the lungs. Diatomaceous earth is mostly amorphous silica, but contains some crystalline silica, especially in the saltwater forms. In a study of workers, those exposed to natural DE for over five years had no significant lung changes, while 40% of those exposed to the calcined form had developed pneumoconiosis. Today's common DE formulations are safer to use as they are predominantly made up of amorphous silica and contain little or no crystalline silica. The crystalline silica content of DE is regulated in the United States by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, and there are guidelines from the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health setting maximum amounts allowable in the product 1% and in the air near the breathing zone of work workers, with a recommended exposure limit at 6 mg per cubic meter over an 8-hour workday. OSHA has set a permissible exposure limit for diatomaceous earth as 20 mppcf 80 mg per meter 3 per percent silicon oxide. At levels of 3,000 mg per cubic meter, diatomaceous earth is immediately dangerous to life and health. In the 1930s, long term occupational exposure among workers in the cristobalite DE industry who were exposed to high levels of airborne crystalline silica over decades were found to have an increased risk of silicosis. Today, workers are required to use respiratory protection measures when concentrations of silica exceed allowable levels. Diatomite produced for pool filters is treated with high heat calcination and a fluxing agent soda ash, causing the formerly harmless amorphous silicon dioxide to assume its crystalline form. See also Biomineralization Diatom, a class of microalgae, found in the oceans, waterways and soils of the world Frustule Fuller's earth Perlite Rock flower Silica aerogel Silicious ooze Zeolite, microporous, aluminosilicate minerals commonly used as commercial adsorbents and catalysts